Meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the spark monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I know this might sound a little strange, uh, but I think I might be, um, a chicken. I think I might be, I might like like. Oh. What? Oh, good for her. Like, huh? Like him? Like, like, like? I know. It sounds like it's moving too fast. There's nothing about him. I like him. Like, like him. I just want to dunk my entire body in his deep fry. Stop. <laughs> oh, <Jeez>. my God. <laughs> She's that upset with the colonel, huh? Jeez. Got to talking after class. He's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. Told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Wait. Do you know, Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? Whoa, I believe that. No, but that does make complete sense. Yeah, because he was so popular that he was voted prom king at the school. He even go to. And then he was also the uh, convertible that he himself rode in at the front of the homecoming parade. What? He was, he, and was also the Okay, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, he was so popular. He was, he was voted prom king at a school he didn't even go to. And was also and the convertible that he himself rode in at the front of the homecoming parade. Uh, all right, that is just as unhinged as I thought it was. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. So we all, this, we all this is that, two. Right? This is like, two separate things. The colonel was voted prom king at a school he didn't even attend to. Period. And Clank was also the convertible that Colonel rode in at the front of the home printing print. That's the only part that makes sense. No. 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 Colonel was the himself. Colonel was his. Yeah, the colonel was the. The colonel was the convertible. Yes. Yeah. What? <laughs> Because, yeah, it, it was also the convertible that he himself rode in. He, yeah. He, the, the colonel's a car. Ooh, sensei. What? Give me a picture of a, a Colonel Sanders convertible. We might see it in a second here. I, you know, but no, but there is a Colonel Sanders car, isn't there? Is there? I think I remember some, I, it might have just been something someone made. But I think I remember there being a picture of like a K like the KFC mobile or something. There's a couple different pictures. There is a car that the actual Colonel Sanders had had driven. There is a car that has a chicken on its head on an, on the roof of it. There is a car that is shaped like a piece of fried chicken. And then there is a car with it looks like a KFC flag taped to the hood. Mm. I don't know. Let's see what. Let's see what. Maybe it shows us. All right, maybe. I'm thinking maybe something got lost in pressure cooking language translation there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Something, it's just that. Either way, maybe it's best if you took it slow with this new boy, like I am with Colonel Sanders. You and Colonel Sanders, hmm? The coolest guy in school? The most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School Academy for Learning? <sighs> You're a thing now. Well, we did, you know, get into a protracted fight sequence. We did take down the Spork Monster. Uh, we definitely connected yesterday. <laughs> sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you? I guess. Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. You have an idea how to prove that your love is real. <gasps> uh, he trusted you! Oh. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Shut up. If you don't tell that you know a second ingredient, too, which covered on your own. The rest of his eyes light up. A secret ingredient? Yes, the secret ingredient is chicken. <gasps> Spoilers! There are, there are 11, 11 chickens? <laughs> 11, 11, 11 chickens? chickens and hens. Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is, a, is there a dramatic echo in here? Hearing checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. 
So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, lovely man approached me at the botanical garden where I was wandering. So we're just gonna skip over that? <laughs> this can't be good. He told me all about his passion for spices. Secret spices. Man even gave me some. Show me what he meant. He said it was a powder created from a super duper rare dried flower petals. Wait a second. Are we talking about poppies here? <laughs> that if I did a big favor, I could have some of my own. Please, Virgum, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. Oh no, she, she was used as a drug mule. Oh. <laughs> she smuggled opium into the country. <laughs> he was so nice. He even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later, when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me. The flavor was unlike anything I'd ever tasted. Oh, oh no. God, she's high as fuck. <laughs> I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. Oh my god. Whatever. Anyhow, we both share an interest in cooking, so we've stayed in touch, you know? Like. Pen pals. I bet he would love to know more about new spices. Oh, no. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sandy's secret recipe. And besides, there's only no one ingredient, so I doubt it'd be much use to anyone. Oh, please, 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 please. I mean, the world to me. No one has to know it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. Is her connection just Ronald McDonald? <laughs> Ronald McDonald got Miriam to smuggle opium into the country. <laughs> Make up a fake ingredient. Oh. You can't ruin the trust that the, we built with the Colonel. What if she tries to use it in today's lesson, though? Yeah. Then he'll know we protected the secret. <laughs> And she'll kill someone else. <laughs> <laughs> this Fine, just becomes this is, a Danganronpa game. Yeah, it's just Danganronpa. You have to be the last one standing with Colonel Sanders. All right, make a finger. You think quickly. Think of a fake ingredient name. I don't know. How about? Oh, it's habaneros. It was oh, Eye no. of Newt. I know it sounds like some kind of witch's potion, but what can you do? <laughs> oh, no, Eye of fun. Newt. <laughs> wow. Her eyes light totally up imagining believe. such a thing, and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity, and she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does a thumb up, <laughs> does some thumb typing on her phone. You, you can't quite see. That's probably not good. Before, that you, before you can ask her to confirm that she's definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. Oh. <laughs> the, the, trees. <laughs> the particles came from the trees. The wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the air. What? <laughs> He's on a horse. <laughs> He's got chickens on, on the horse. saddle. <laughs> I'm on a horse. <laughs> it's Colonel Sanders. He's arriving at school. Stand back and admire his majestic glory. Run to him. Oh, I don't want to scare the horse. <laughs> I don't want to scare the horse. You imagine we just get punted by the horse and he kills <laughs> it's us. It's the next game over. <laughs> God, that'd be funny. Let's admire him. What's the steed's name? Ah, uh, chicken. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with like, uh, like Betty Crocker or something. I was gonna say it's like instead of roach, it's roost or something. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Sanders' horse is truly a thing of beauty. It just transformed into a gravy boat. <laughs> Jesus. Without ever acknowledging that he's being watched, he does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish. He then slaps the beautiful creature gently on its rear, sending it running free into the countryside. I thought was going to turn into his staff. <laughs> you are so struck for the sight of him that you lose the ability to speak coherently. Oh, I didn't realize anyone was watching. Don't worry, he knows his way home. You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but the words don't come out exactly right. What a horseful butte you have. I mean, what a horseful butte you have. Dang it, that's what I just said. Being a good friend, oh, Miriam no. attempts to cover for you. 
Oh, not Wes. Just gets really nervous around people they like. Thank you, Miriam. Ah. I will now go ah. bury my head in the sand. Well, that, that is not helping. I mean, uh, they got food poisoning and we were up all night. Uh, it was uh, pff, gruesome. You should have seen it. Oh, no. <laughs> what a bold faced lie when we were with Colonel Sanders. <laughs> he tucked me in. <laughs> she gives you a wink and a smile as if to say, situation handled. Can't blame a girl for trying. What a good friend, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got you, girl, and you're like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, no. And with that, Colonel Sam disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. Doesn't even acknowledge. <laughs> <laughs> when you oh. enter the classroom, you can see your two rivals, Ashley and Van Van, are doing something bad. By the way, they're hiding. You know it must be really bad. Like, counterfeiting recipes bad. Experimenting with restricted ingredients bad. Summoning a demon bad? All of those things are happening right now. Wait, but the boy if that's what happened and made the spork monster. Absolutely. Uh experimenting with restricted recipes is like Hogwarts <laughs> spells or something. <laughs> you try and get a peek over Van Van's hulking shoulder. But he sees you coming. Whoa there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. Absolutely, is just prepping something with an eye of a newt. <laughs> Why don't you make like a bee and mind your own wax, honey? Uh, tell them to stop acting immature, act like you're not interested in them, but really try and get a closer look. I, I want to see what they're doing. I, I kind of want to see what they're doing and see if they've got like a frog and they're dissecting it. <laughs> Sit to your rivals, but leave your back turned to them. You even hear Van Van muttering something that sounded like that sounded a bit like a magic spell. <laughs> However, he notices you eavesdropping. Try and cover your tracks and improvise an excuse. I have them. It's time for class, and you're just distracting the rest of us who want to learn. Oh. Now you've upset them. Uh -huh. My gosh. Oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules? <gasps> I'm not sure you know a good meal if it ain't you. Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity. It takes panache. And it doesn't hurt to use a little evil. Finally get a look at what they were, what they were hiding. And you instantly recognize it. <gasps> it's a book, just like the one you found at your encounter with the spork monster. That's the same book I found last night in the quad. They stole it. Ashley immediately elbows Van Van, who hides the book behind his back. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. That book is a family heirloom, and its contents are a secret. You notice they haven't just been studying the book. They've got Pop pinned to the wall, and they're tossing potato skins at them as he tries to catch them in his mouth. What the fuck? We're playing! <laughs> Before you can dig any further, you're interrupted by the arrival of more students. It's almost time for class. Beep beep. Zach must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls right over Van Van's meaty foot. Ugh. Hey, watch it, you bucket of balls. Watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. Zzz, womp. Uh, spews hot oil out of Oh my god. Who do you think you're talking to? I've never even heard such language, not even from a stand mixer. <gasps> womp womp. No, your mother was a stand mixer. Oh my god, he's gonna kill Van Van. Oh. Van Van jumps to attack Clank, but Clank shocks Van Van, sending him flying across the room. Holy shit. Jesus. He had a taser. Oh, what? <laughs> oh my god. Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazed men are about to come to blows. I think it must be over me, and I'm not interested in either of them. Ashley's tone has completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes to Colonel Sanders. Surely he must know that this is a ruse, right? I love her. She is the best. <laughs> She's my favorite. <laughs> Your opinion on her has not changed. I love a shit heel. It is so much fun. Villains are the best. <laughs> Gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the arena, at least. 
or, or don't. Honestly, what do I care? I've got lofty career aspirations to focus on. <laughs> Maybe I can help you with your business plan. Just then, Sprinkles arrives to signal the true start of cl the class day. He's panting, which doesn't seem that abnormal. Professor, but he's also a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Students, please take your seats. Tap, tap. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all around town, and my tiny legs were very, very tired. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> but I'm here now, and I hope you're ready to learn. Probably with another pop quiz. Rub his furry dog belly. He loves it. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Ahem. Without further ado, we'll review the global history of my favorite fowl, the chicken. Whoa. You want to pay attention to the lesson. Truly, you do. Which is why, in 1776, what? at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken who first signed their name. But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders, <laughs> and you miss most of the important parts. <laughs> <laughs> when you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Um, well, not Wes. Naturally, this appears, to, this appears to you to be a sample platter. Which item do you want to sample? A glass of water, a shimmering pepper, or a dog biscuit. What? I, I know, he's a dog, dog biscuit. Dog biscuit. Bro, I was, maybe, what? Just dog oh, biscuit. Man. Uh, yeah, I guess dog biscuit. I was going to say glass of water, because that's probably the safest option for if we're eating it or we're feeding him. Dog biscuit. Dog biscuit it is. All right, we're going to sample a dog biscuit. Because of the shape it's baked, and you assume the dog biscuit dog biscuit is a treat made by Sprinkles. An example of his own culinary talents, perhaps. You reach out for it when... Ah! <laughs> Sprinkles jumps up and bites onto your cooking apron. What kind of monster would steal a dog's favorite biscuit? Your apron is left in tatters. The entire class looks on, looks on in horror as you fall unconscious from the embarrassment. <gasps> I never even got to taste it. Is this the end? You fade. <laughs> what? You fade into darkness, but something is there. The spork monster. You said you wouldn't be back. Orko, what are you doing here? It's not your time, my friend. Your act of kindness has not been forgotten. Why does he give you one retry? You watch <laughs> as your apron magically repairs itself. You won't have to live in embarrassment anymore. Thank what? you, my friend, wherever you are. What item do you want to say? He did give me a he retry. A retry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my That's god. That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, did you sample the water or the pepper? Of water. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a sick What the fuck? Oh no. What the hell? What You're is happening? Like the, the pepper, you probably die. Yeah, yeah. Eat the pepper. Eat the pepper. Eat the pepper. We gotta get our free retry back. The brightly colored pepper stands out from the other items. It sparkles in a most eye-catching way. But naturally, you reach out, grab it, and eat it right away. However, your body's not prepared for the heat. The pepper has triggered an intense spice hallucination. It feels like forever as you trip through the universe. <laughs> what? Oh, my friend. Oh, oh no! This guy again. I'm here to give you a boy medal. Must avenge my death and fulfill your destiny. All you must do is. <coughs> I, I was saying, you must fulfill your destiny. <clears throat> All you must do is. <laughs> Sorry, I think I might still I still got some spice stuck in my throat. It, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just keep going. It's just well. <laughs> to fulfill uh, <laughs> the prophecy, <laughs> you must. You feel yourself begin to create consciousness. 
Oh, man. Come to and find everyone is staring at you. That pepper was the last of its kind on Earth, and now it's gone. Forever! You think to yourself, geez, I should pay better attention. We all make mistakes. I'm sure he'll forgive you. Someday. Come on! It's time for lunch! What was happening? <laughs> what did... What? What? <laughs> wait. Wait. What? <laughs> Can we replay that chapter? What? Okay. <laughs> Can we go uh, back and just drink the water? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> it was the six bite? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? I don't get it. Oh, okay. Now that was... Oh, works. no! Oh, okay. That was the fifth bite. But how far back does it go in the fifth bite? Well, I, I can just fast forward it to the I have choice. no idea. Oh. That's here. All right. Oh, okay. We got to pick the same thing. It's got to go I have Newt. Big ingredient. Uh, well, this would have been two separate sections. Majestic Glory. Uh, yeah, this is a long section. Uh, act like you're not interested. They have uh, a you, chicken book. The uh, chicken book. You start fighting. Yep. And the professor shows up and.